my dad had his first record around well, at the age of three. He started collecting and he just ended up filling up my grandparents' basement and by, you know, in 1980, he just opened up a business. The start of the business was all records and at that time there was no internet or anything. It was a lot different of a, a scene at that time. The Attic, 513 Grant Avenue in Millville. Even whenever I was a little kid, you know, we would go on vacation and Instead of being at the beach, I'd be in somebody's dirty basement looking at records with my dad. My name's Fred Bond. Uh, we're from the Attic Records store in Millville, which is right outside of downtown Pittsburgh. We buy, sell, and trade records and CDs, all types of music. Well, whenever we first opened, it was more, you know, I guess age 40 and up. A lot of 45 collectors now are clientele is more 40 and under. You're seeing the number of people here getting bigger and the age of the people drastically dropping. Like you'll still see, you know, the older guys who, who are local to the neighborhood, but you're seeing a rising number of like young 20 something young adults leaving with these giant stacks of this stuff. You never know who's going to walk through the door, what's going to happen. The phone's ringing all day long, people bringing records in for sale all day long. The variety of different people that come through the door from one minute to the next, you see people that are here five times a week, and then you see people that you haven't seen in five years. There's a lot of dealers as well as collectors that come and DJs, so on and so forth, that just can't access this music from where they're at. They can on the internet, but it's a different thing being able to come in, ruffle through the stacks, find things that you may not even have been looking for. My favorite thing about looking for records is going through and trying to find like the original pressings and things like that, and, and digging through and trying to find some hidden gem. You know, it's always been fun for me is to take an hour or, or take two hours and really just sit there and like big, dig through every single little record and try and find something. It has a selection like you wouldn't believe and it's really cool people working there and it's very welcoming. It's not very much like a closed secret club. It's always like, you know, hey, come on in, take a look at what we got here. I was here when it happened. The water started coming up a little bit on the street and then it came up and then it started coming through the door. We we're all, you know, scrambling to save whatever we could, but it was sort of roller skating uphill. The water was about three and a half foot high through the store. And if you see the store, there's a lot of inventory that's three and a half foot high. Plus, at that time, we had four basements full of records also. Anything the water touched, we had to get rid of. So, you know, that includes walls, floors, everything. So we lost over, probably over three and a half million records. We had an army of people just spending weeks and weeks just throwing inventory away. And then we had to start by rebuilding everything from the floor joists up. This used to be all glass. And to give you an example, like a, a traffic light was all the, went through the glass and was all the way in the back wall, you know, so it was total devastation. These murals were done by Sandy Kessler after the flood. The mural is more than just a mural. It's just like, represents, you know, everyone in Millville. Millville is a community that cares about its people. Don't you know that we can do this It's an experience coming here. It's a good experience. It's actually having the physical thing in your hands and being able to open up and seeing the posters on the inside and the artwork. You come here, you're talking about an album, you strike up a conversation with somebody, and yeah, you got a memory and you got a place you'll come back to as much as you possibly can. It's like a family thing here, you know? I mean, our customers become part of the store and it's a, it's a community. And, People come in and customers talk to each other and it's more of an adventure and whenever people are able to find things like that that they're looking for, it really makes a lot of people happy. It's a joy that 
is becoming lost on us, and this is a place where I think it's being rediscovered and being rekindled. Have a ball after the hop.